Hey, how you doing? Rich here. Hey, we're going to be working on this uh, Tao Tao here. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for like 30 bucks. It just got posted. You know, the guy just wanted some quick money. A buddy of his had it sitting on the side of his house for years, and he gave it to him. And so his friend just needed, he told me he needed some lunch money or something. So I was like, okay, $30, let's do it. So this was really mostly all in one piece. And if you want to follow along, it's going to be a series of videos on how I clean stuff up and just do whatever it needs to get it up and running again. I figured it'd be a pretty cool project for me and my uh, son. He's 16. You know, he might want to mess around with it, show him a few things about mechanics and whatever. So uh, that's it. And we're going to see if we can get it going. It was mostly in one piece. I already got started on it, as you can see, but mostly all the fairings and everything I got. But uh, if you want to follow along, I'm going to make a playlist out of this. And so here we go. Thanks for stopping by. If you, uh, this helps you out, you know, with uh, any of the troubleshooting that I do or whatever throughout the videos, just, uh, you know, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And uh, let's get to it. All right, cool. We got this Tau Tau that I picked up today for 30 bucks. So I pulled the carburetor off. Uh, didn't have a key for it. I'm going to hot wire, see if it'll run. I got the battery. It actually came with the battery, too. But here it is. All right. Got the carburetor pulled out of there. And so there's, there's the machine. It's not in bad shape. The brakes work. Uh, like I said, no key, but it's fine. And so I just yanked the carburetor out. Fairly simple. Um, just the cable, taking the cable off basically. And a couple of mounting nuts that fit on the studs that hold it on there. There are the uh, two studs right there. And I just pulled the carburetor out. Um, I put some PB blaster on the kickstand. It's still not the kickstand, the kickstart. It's still not moving. It's a little rusted. I guess those get rusted pretty regular. And back to the carburetor. So here it is. And hopefully I have enough light on this. I, like uh, you, if you're watching this video, go to YouTube and try to get the scoop. <clears throat> on things and the one uh, video I pulled up for rebuilding these things I'm still getting gas out of this I'm gonna get rid of this towel here in a little bit because it does stink it smells like that turpentine gooey gluey kind of stuff um, <clears throat> anyway the video I did find for rebuilding these things had just uh, these basically riveted on, if you will. I still had screws going through the uh, the underside of the float bowl surface there. But the top side, you, you couldn't even get a, uh, a fastener tool on there, like a screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. What I will be getting a little concerned about, this is these are two little screws that go in here that I took an electrical Component off and it had a needle that went down inside of there. So that's still hanging on the bike um, And I did see in here On that video if this Oh that diaphragm thing Isn't going wanting to go up Inside of there See inside of there. So this should be able to push down on its own. It's not doing it Wow, at all. So, I don't know if that has anything to do with the position of the throttle or what. Now, that diaphragm thing is just kind of stuck in there, not moving. Or is it now? No, it's just not moving. I'm going to have to get in there and take this apart, see what's going on, but another thing I'm kind of concerned about is that uh, this looks like it should be an accelerator pump. I'll have to take this all apart too, probably, to get to that pump. 
see what's going on there because it looks like when you pull that throttle, it uh, should kind of work down on that accelerator pump right there. But looks like it's all just jammed up and cruddy. So we're going to take it apart. Start with getting these float bowl screws off. Keep some light on this thing. So it looks like there's one, two, three of them. And then the accelerator pump there looks like a separate issue. So let's get the screwdriver on here. See if this thing wants to cooperate. So far it hasn't been bad. I don't think this is are these flatheads at all? No, they're true Phillips. Some of them have uh, the flathead on there too, so I'll grab a Phillips. These are pretty tight based on those little tiny ones I just took off. <coughs> yeah, they're really in there. Okay, so I got, have to bear down on this thing pretty hard. Trying to put all my weight on there as much as I can to get these things broke. I'm really bearing down on it as much as I can, trying to keep it balanced. Don't want to strip the head of that bolt until it just cracks there. Okay, so those two got loose. Now with these carburetors, have a nice little place for all of your parts. So we don't lose them, especially for carburetors, very small parts. And I got uh, one left right here, it looks like. Okay, let's see if I can get some pressure down on that thing. And I'm in the shadows here. Okay, really takes some force. Especially with these carburetors, man, they really torque those bolts down on the carbs for some reason. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we have a metering screw here. Let's turn this in and see where I take this all apart. What I like to do is put my tool in there. I'm going to count down, turning in until it stops. So I'm going to go, okay, it's one. I count by half turns two, and then two and about a quarter, almost two and a half, so about two and a half. So then we can go ahead and take out this metering screw. Okay, that looks like it's in decent shape, not bent or anything. Put that to the side. Now I'll just take my screwdriver and see if this bowl wants to come off. If it'll cooperate. I don't think I have any other screws holding this thing up. Nope. So I'm just going to whack it a little bit with the screwdriver. There it goes. Kind of popped. All right. So a spring came out of there. So back behind that metering needle was a spring. So watch out for that. I didn't know that was in there. So that should go back in there like this. That spring on there. Set that to the side. Okay, the bowl is loose. It'll pull off for us easy. Easy. And there's some yucky yucky goo and that's that's super tacky. So, and this, I think this should pump up and down. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There's that pump. Still some goo in there. If you can see it squirting out. I'm trying to get some light on it. I'm at a bad angle. See that stuff squirting out? Yep. So we'll get that all cleaned out. 